13, 10 hours hanging with Batman. Hi. What's up, Batman? It looks like uh, the fitting on the tarp might not be uh, tight because it's trickling down the hose as well. All right. Yeah, I see there's water sign on the screen. Yeah. And, and this is right out. Yeah, it's, it's running down the hose here. All right. Here. Can we fix it? Yeah. Get the forklift over there, over here, and someone to tighten it, maybe. All right. Grab your brownie. He's got the reach. If he can't do it, I can. Dog's happy. Aaron's happy. Huh? I would. There's water all over the thing. How goes the cleaning, sir? It continues. Lather, rinse, repeat. <laughs> we got. We got only one left. Yeah. They're good. They're all. They're it's caught. a hell of an improvement. Yeah, none of them are bad so far, so... Yeah, all the caps test good. That's... It may live again. pretty cool. After we get... I want to get the last one clean. Yep. Then I want to clean this again. Yeah. Just detail Actually, clean. Don't ever clean them inside. Okay, well, just They're detail all... clean inside and out. And then we're going to reassemble the main cabinet. Um, and this is just going to get set aside for a while. Then we're going to clean... Detail clean the control cabinet. Right. And that'll get set aside with this. And then we'll look at rebuilding the table. Say, you see my start on the table? No, what'd you do? Oh, I just started cleaning it? No. Yeah. That's an improvement. I'm pretty sure the clear coat on this piece of copper is well gone. Yeah, it's probably just burned off. Right. Um, but we'll just sand this down and polish it and clear coat it. Uh, Kidwell and I are going to be doing the power supply. We'll do that from scratch. It's going to be because it's. It's a 10 year old build on that. It's from like prototype 6 or something. It wouldn't surprise me if the next time Paul showed up, he had a. Yeah, it's slider. entirely possible he'll show up with one already done. And then we'll make a pretty display mount for it and all that guys. I gotta get the forklift here. Alright, give me six caps and I'll be out of the way. Yeah, that's that's gonna get a whole new thing. Did you just use uh, electrical uh, flex? Yeah, I'm, well, I'm not gonna use regular metallic BX. I'm gonna use non-metallic, the gray plastic yeah, stuff. You no, know it looks sexy. Would be that bright orange stuff. Bright orange stuff. Yeah. So that's a split. It's the stuff for running fiber through. Oh, the split loom for fiber? Yeah. I don't think it's tough enough. Probably not, but it would look. Cool. It'd look cool, but it cracks easy. What we can do is get a thing of gray, non-metallic armored cable, and uh, we can spray paint it or wrap it in something. Wrap it in orange electrical tape. That's doable. That's a little top heavy. Just a little bit. Kind of off center. You'll just trip a breaker trying to turn all the lights on at once. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Those are, Those are 250 watt bulbs. Right. Yeah. yeah that's going to be a hell of a drop. 
It'd trip a breaker. Yeah. Just like that. Two more. Out of the way, I should be able to get through. Yeah. It's doing so good. Probably half these, still half these. Half these but yeah, and I, I remember which one I left off at. I'll do that after I uh, put that on the board list. Behind you. <laughs> Are you gonna fix it? Yeah, I'll do it. Grease and poise. forward. That is good.
I can hear the water hitting it. That's good. All right, don't move till I tell you. I'm gonna set the camera in a delicate spot, okay? Pepper move, right there. Beep. Pepper, you <laughs> dumb shit. That's funny if you honk at him. You honk at him, he still don't care. Oh yeah, that's loose. Oh, and nasty. That's nasty. Hey, Batman? Yeah. How the hell am I supposed to tighten this if I can't reach both sides? Maybe I'll just kind of squeeze on the tarp or something. Maybe. Um, you gotta untangle the hose at the bottom. I gotta rotate the entire hose. Alright, there he's on it. I'll be on the past, though. Ah! One hose comes from the other tarp, that one's fine. That's fine. Yeah, this is the one I need. Take the hose out. One of those. Yeah, it is. cutters and cut that damn hose off. Yeah, He's got about 20 feet more than he, yeah, but if you do it now, then it just makes the whole thing easier. Give me one second. All right, you got a big pair of cutters? I think so. All right. It's not that hardcore of a hose. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big dice to cut it, it's fine. Yeah, I think scissors would be better. I got some like... I think those big rafting ones are still upstairs. Alright. Alright, you gonna cut that off? Yeah. Alright, cut it off right... It's about level... Yeah, about there's where you want to cut it. Yeah. Cut it there. Don't cut your leg. You're sensitive. That's the dog should tell you, it kind of sucks. Smooth. All right. Now, just hold still, all right? Don't dance with us. I'm going to flash it off. Oh, there's so much fuck nasty up here you don't know. That appears to be solid. Do you have a... Uh, something? I need a rag. Rag? Yeah, give me some paper towel or... or a roll of paper towels would be awesome. There's dirt in the threads. Alright, what do you want to do this? Just throw it? Yeah, toss it. <laughs> ah, what the fuck? You want to try that again without toilet paper in the lamp? <laughs> Obviously, never had any fun as a teenager. <laughs> Strong arm that fart. Thank you. Let's say you're going to knock off the block here. That's the end of the brand new book. It is a little wobbly like. I'm going to set it down here and hope for the best as far as shots go. No, that would be an epic shot if you were able to say you didn't swallow it. There is an impressive level of sedimentation built up in the threads on this. It's probably been loose for a while, but all the dancing around with the hose. Yeah, that's, that's what it looks like. We don't have an air hose I can have up here, do we? Uh, I don't think one's on there. Cause man, that'd be the shit. Oh, uh, uh, I think I got it. We'd have to lower you though. I think I got it. Alright, this 
side's not so bad. Stay with me, guys. It'll be okay. Cleaning off the seal inside the hose, the O-ring. Yeah, yeah. A lot of dirt. I know what happens, actually. We both experience while in the basket. Huh? We both experience that in the basket. No. No, actually, what happens is I get lurched forward and shit down my leg. And then, about, and then about five minutes later, you experience blunt force trauma to the face. As I hit you with a pair of fucking channel locks. That's what happens. Man, you've done it to me, I've done it to you. Ah, shit. No, I didn't cross thread it. It's it's there's multiple threadings on the same bolt happening here. Oh, as a tight one. Yeah. All right, that should be good. Go upstairs and stab five holes in the roof directly over this car. Okay, you're right on. All right. You ready to come down now? Uh, yeah, I'm groovy. There's my roof repair. I can see down the shirt. Oh, take me up a bit. Take me up a bit. Oh, you want to wipe off that? Yeah, I want to clean this off. Because I'm here. Yes, up a little. Give me about two feet. Yeah, it'll do. There's the Windex right there. Hook it up. That's a good thing. The TV's not gonna be powered on for. Like, oh, I'm giving it to him. Okay. This <laughs> my whole day, man. I don't know how good of a shot I'm getting of any of this, but I'm just... What the fuck are you doing? God. Kids. Some people's kids. There's a, quite the layer of gunge on top of this poor thing. Like, hey, I'm here. I should clean this. That's pretty much the soot policy, is every surface in the building, as you happen to wander by it, clean the soot. It's a good thing you and your helicopter skills got the soot off the flag card. Yeah, I'm helping. I'm a helper. <laughs> like no that's quite lovely I did that Yay. all right Batman take us down please and down Batman, I'm loving this camera. Yeah? Yeah. Just the image quality. I'm getting like cinemagraphic blog happening here.
Yeah, it shows how long I've moved it since I've moved the man. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> I'd leave it out. We can clean under it. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah, it was a pleasure. All right, now we finish up the caps. I'm just gonna check him real quick. Then he can come back together. Well, I always start on the ones that you've already tested. Right, and I left off on that guy. Yeah. Just gonna double check him. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. I want to make. I want. I want one of these where the meter instead of saying dad just says fuck. Good fuck. Good good fuck. Double check them with the fluke. Make sure they're at the right capacitance. For these guys, they're 2,000 microfarad. Stir checks out. It's that fool of shit. What? What you got? Well, that we had a loose like connection. We might want to replace that. Let me see the screw. That's not going in straight at all. That yeah. Was, that was fucked. Swap it out with a spare. I'm trying to think where the spares kept. <laughs> High voltage level, huh? Yeah. Right, anyway. Find so. find the spares, swap that out. Right, it's probably another one. Yo, no, uh, we all did those all that stuff. Aaron. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's the gear out of the high voltage lab. Did you want to store it? Like no, I wanted to toss everything in there short term. Um, let me go double check high voltage. Just le leave that out for now. Right. This will be the top shelf. Any other ones that don't quite fit right as we reassemble it, we'll take them out of the top drawer. When we're all done, because it's going to be months before this turns out again. Right. We know we have to replace a few. And however many is missing out of here, that's how many we know we have to replace. This is our buffer drawer. All right, that'll be over. Well, we that way we don't have to fumble fuck got... around all day trying to find the caps. We only got one more drawer to fuck with anyway. All right, well, there you go, see. We'll start disassembling this one and we'll go from there. Well, let's finish assembly on this one. We'll just, we'll just yeah, we'll we just, can. we'll we'll have the back row be a little messed up and we'll just go from there. All right. Batman, so this is the Blade 120 SR. This is my junior high level helicopter. Okay, we're still fixed pitch. We've got a fly bar, but it's uh, well, see, it's, this fly bar is underneath where yeah, the this one's, one's underneath on and it's bigger. It's also twice the size of what we're used to flying, and it's the first helicopter on a real radio. This is with, with my DXI, so or DX6I. So, this is going to be a lot different. I don't know how bad this is going to be. Remember that GIF I sent you? Yeah, it's, it's similar to that. 
have never flown this before, so let's see how it goes. Wow. Radio Quiet. is way smoother than what I'm used to. It requires a lot more active inputs. If this hits you, it will hurt. Your odds of getting hit on this one are very high, just so you know. And if it's a headshot, I get to smash it, so. No, not, not, not in this instance. <laughs> Dirty. It's a lot harder to control than the 911. It's a million times smoother in, in throttle than I think I gotta fix the uh the ball legs. Yeah, I gotta set the ball legs to the longer ones so I can have some better control. But it's pretty cool. Yeah, I like this a lot. Now, just for kicks, I'm gonna turn on the controls for more active mode and see what happens. I may not be able to control this at all. It may be significantly easier. Oh, wow. That actually helped quite a bit. Oh, air, 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 air. Lots of air. <laughs> big sky, Batman. <Batman's>. Big sky. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, the pendulum effect on this one is still there. And it's a lot bigger. Let's try and get this back safe. Maybe. Up, up, up. No. Nope. Shit. Right, okay. <laughs> Rut row. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I didn't mean Are it, baby. Right? <laughs> I'm good. No, I can still fly. <laughs> no, I'm just, just, just give me, a just, just. Oh. Shh. Battery. Check for parts. Everything's still connected. Still have a tail rotor. Tail rotor still turns. Nothing's cracked. Yeah, I think it made it okay. we caved in a little bit on this side. Oh, that's because we slammed that bar all the way across. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> bar slamming! <laughs> Push that back a little bit. Doug's like, are you done? <laughs> Omni doesn't approve of the helicopters. She doesn't really seem to mind all that much. Until they get close to her. Yeah, yeah, well, the big and thing... by close, I mean like 10 feet. She's like, nope, 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 <laughs> nope, nope. All right, let's make sure it still flies. This is on the line of indoor versus outdoor. Right. Hold it's really weird. It's, this has a brain. This has a gyro system. So it wants to think for itself. It's really weird. Like it'll just twitch, especially it seems to have this twitch to the left. and a little bit of toilet bowl effect happening. Which should pretty much go away in, uh, with, a weather vane, with a weather vane effect in fast forward flight. But as long as I'm hovering, see that? That weird, I'm gonna jump to the left shit? 
It's just a jump to the left. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can put it down. Come back here! What the hell? <laughs> God damn! It just shoots off to the left. Okay. Probably a, probably a weird setting or something. I don't know what the hell, but I'm gonna... There's a thing where you can... Because it's really... It's really hard to control because it's so mushy. Um, see these here? These little ball links? Maybe. Focus. See that? The two little ball links there that stick out? Mm -hmm. On the swash plate? These two that it's connected to, you can see the, the arms here, the links. It's connected to this set of ball links, and these are really short. These ones stick out farther, and they give you greater throw, which gives you better control. Um, it also makes it move faster, so I left it on these to start off with. Um, but I can set to these, and the radio settings are set for something similar to these, and then it's tamed down. What I've got is really tame radio settings with really tame helicopter settings, and that's just, it's too mushy. It's, it's, it's so mushy, it's almost impossible to control. So. We're going to swap it out to the other one, we'll see if we can get We'll try that for the afternoon. For now, we have to go to work. Yay. I'm going to go put this down and set the battery on the charge. Alright.